Actually, speaking of the 200 IM, why did you decide not to swim the 2 IM? I, I haven't seen um, any any media. It's probably out there, but I'm just asking you. Why did you pull out of the 2 IM? Weren't you number one in the world for that? Yeah, I think I was ranked number one. Um, right. And I don't know. I've just never done medley at any meets apart from my first international, which was in 2017 Worlds, and I did the 400 IM. And that was just a throw in swim for me, really, just to get some, you know, international racing under my belt so I could, you know, use it as a stepping stone towards the Olympics. Um, but our trials, I swam a really good turn at I am. And I, I just assumed I wasn't racing it. And it wasn't actually until we got to Cairns, Mooney said, oh, do you want to do a set? I am. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? And he was like, oh, what do you mean? And I was like, no, what do you mean? Um, <laughs> and he's like, you're racing the 200 I am. And I was like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and I think it wasn't until then that, you know, we actually sat down and had a conversation because it was a, a double up. So I think it was like my 100 backstroke semifinal and my heat swim mm. of the 200 I am, something like that. That was a crossover right. of some sort. And I didn't feel confident enough in myself that I could back up and do that. And especially in Olympics, it isn't the place to really try that. So that's what I mean for this next three years, I'm going to try add it to my program, um, whether or not I can do it this year. I'm not sure yet. It's a conversation I've got to have with Bowley and he's, he's kind of pushing it, but I'm just a bit nervous because I, I don't want to be that one hit wonder. I want to be able to step up for these next three years and be on that podium um, and really just push the history books. Right. Right. Yeah. You're not going to be a one hit wonder. You're, you're a, a brilliant <laughs> swimmer. I mean, it's incredible how good you are. So I'm, I'm, I'm in awe, but listen, um, do you have regrets about pulling out now, like looking back and the, and the meat that you had and the goals and you know, all that sort of stuff. Do you like, damn, I, I let one get away. Um, I wouldn't say I regret anything at the Olympics at all. It was a decision that was made and it was made by myself, my coach and our head coach. So I have no regrets in that regard, but I do remember um, either doing a bit of training. I was watching the women's turned IM final. Mm. I was like, I could have been racing in that. And mm. it like, it made me a bit disappointed in myself, but at the same time, it has made me hungry to want to get up on that podium for that event as well. Right, right. What's your weakness in that event? Is it the breaststroke? Um, butterfly is actually my worst stroke by far. Butterfly, okay. But yeah, um, my back to breast is probably my strongest leg, believe it or not. Mm. And then obviously my free and my fly are quite poor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were number one in the world at the time. I don't think they're poor, but you probably got really, really high standards. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's okay. Well, so then where would you put your emphasis on improvement then? Let me say that. Um, you know, I've already started my back to breaststroke turns. I, I used to do the really long glide into a wall and then turn around, but then now I'm doing the oh, crossover. Crossover. Mm. I don't know. I was always really scared to do it, but now Bowley's like, no, if you want to train under me, you got to be able to do that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing that now and it's already made a drastic improvement. I raced at New South Wales and it was the fastest in out speed I've had, mm. even though the overall time was slower, it's still those skills again were the best that they've ever been. Who's teaching you the crossover? That's a tough one to to get. You have to kind of like see it almost, and then you have to have someone maybe walk you through it a bit. Is there somebody mentoring you through that? Been a long process. I the first time I tried to do it, I honestly just stopped and I didn't know which way to turn my body and pop my mm -hmm. head up. And Bolly was just laughing, <laughs> and I was like, "It's not funny. I'm actually trying." <laughs> um, and it's it's taken me to you know. Fortunately, we have you know Brendan Smith, who is the bronze medalist at the Olympics, mm -hmm. and his techniques and skills are also really great. So I've had him to watch. And then right. there's a few other I am as now group that are good at that term. One of them being my sister. So she took the time out to really show me how to maneuver myself that way. And every, I think Tuesday, Thursday, I get pulled to the side to work on that kind of stuff. 